Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Black Sand Beach. Are you afraid of the light? The first volume in the graphic novel series. The third is just out. The other two that uh, are out are Do you Remember the Summer Before? And then the third, which came out this week, is Have You Seen the Darkness? We're going to do reviews for every single one, but having never read the series, I want to start with the first before we get into that third. Uh, so what did I expect going into this? I kind of expected a, a comic book series very much goosebumps, like a, a horror series that maybe is full of weirdness, and you know most kids could probably enjoy that there's some spookiness, maybe some scary parts, but generally, you know, just kids horror. And you know what? I'm pretty close to that one. Uh, so it's all by Richard Fairgray. And I have to say, I really enjoy the, the first volume of this. Uh, so it's about this kid named Dash and his best friend Lily. Uh, they are going to spend the summer at Black Sand Beach. Uh, Dash's family has a house there. It's a house they uh, built themselves. Uh, but everything's really weird. Uh, so there is uh, the house itself, which is this like weird stilted shack. Um, the, the beach itself is black sand that's, like, magnetic. Uh, it randomly gets dark at times. They're not supposed to go into the woods because of the strange, uh, family that lives nearby. Um, and then there's the ghosts that start calling out Dash's name from the lighthouse. Uh, it's, it's a fun mystery. It's like a, it, you know, it doesn't really explain anything. You just kind of go with the flow, um... But, you know, it's it seems like it would be good for, I think, younger readers. I'm thinking, like, maybe 10 years old, maybe 12, somewhere around there. Um, you know, it's it may be just a little enough to, to keep them up at night, uh, but not enough to, like, give them nightmares, if that makes sense. Um, but it, it's just... The thing I like about it is it's it's really weird and it's really goofy and it doesn't take itself seriously and it throws things over the top. Uh, it's not just Dash's family, but his uh, his aunt's uh, family shows up, which has some cousins. There's uh, one cousin that's kind of normal, another one that is completely insane uh, and might be a genius. Uh, the aunt is completely annoying. There's a weird uncle and uh, not in that way, just he like mumbles and it's just it's a thing it's like catatonic uh and then there's also kind of like a second story that involves lily uh as uh, everyone else falls under a magical spell it's it's good it's good um it's interesting it's fun i think it's perfect for kids especially for the summer it feels like a very good summer read uh the art style is really interesting at times it really it reminds me a lot of rugrats uh with the character designs and other times it kind of has like a family guy little vibe to it uh, and that's, I'm not knocking that at all. Uh, that's not a bad thing at all. It's just the, the way I think the characters look and kind of what they remind me of. It's not that the, the, anything's bad or like it, it riffs on that style tons, but just the shape of the characters and some of the looks of them, uh, it just remind me of that. Um, yeah, so we can see the, this is where the weird starts to begin. It's the, that's the ant and she has like a ram sheep thing that's green and, Seems to be rather angry. Um, there's also a little bit of like notes and how you make comics in the back, and some acknowledgments, and a little bit of a little bit extras, not tons. Um, overall, I think it's a, it's a solid graphic novel series for kids. I've said there's three of them out. Uh, this is the first one. We're gonna go through the second and third, and uh, we'll see how it is. I, I again, I think this is probably like 10 to 12 ish would be the age range of where I think this would be good. Um, and I said, it's just enough to maybe keep the kids up a little bit at night, but not enough to give them nightmares and keep them up all night. Uh, and that's a good thing. I mean, it's just, it, it'll get their mind running of spooky noises and weird things in the, in the forest. Um, but overall, I, it's enjoyable. It's fun. It's, it's funny and, um, you know, perfect for the summertime. You can go get this now. It is out in shops. Uh, it's been out for a while. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. You can put in your zip code to tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. And I want to thank Pixel and Ink for hooking us up with the review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into graphic novels, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.